things. How's it going? So, I have a haul today to share with you. But first, I wanted to just show you, again, for my last fountain pen ink swatching video. This is completely bone dry now. So, but... I would show it to you again and then put it away in that. In my um, traveler's notebook. I'm having a good time making these swatches. Really, wow. I mean, they look... I mean, they are very similar looking in the bottle. But really, you can't tell the exact nature of the color in the sheen until you swatch it so and this is the rock and rio diamine shimmer i just think it's beautiful i've never seen anyone swatch this before but this is underrated as far as i'm concerned and this is perfect for fall so just gonna put that one right there and like it so up next, I have a whole slew of videos that I want to do, but, um, and this dried nicely on the lid there, um, but one at a time, you know, as I can. So my next haul is also from Jet Pens. This is another Twisby Eco, and this is the Transparent Blossom Red, and this is actually... An extra fine nib if you can imagine so I've already taken everything out of the package because I've done many hauls with it in the package and they're all the same so there's a close-up of the nib again piston filling in case you've never used an eco I've already washed this pen it does post beautiful silver hardware Again, transparent blossom red, which I love. <laughs> I like it. So I thought I would ink this up with you and do my swatches. And I am going to again use the coloring paper. And the color that I chose this time is another diamine shimmer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the whole diamine shimmer line and then go on to the blue line because I bought both complete lines and just swatch them. Not sure how I'm gonna swatch the other videos, but look at this color. I've been dying for um, a long, long time to try this dragon blood. Look at that. It looks orange right there in the bottom. But if you just stir this around, and shake it. I'm shaking it. I'm sure many people might cringe. It can't be too much different from paint. I mean, yes, it has a few bubbles. I'm not really worried about that. So, there you go. I'm just dying to try this. All right, and uh, what I want to do is I want to put my dot on because last time I forgot until the end. And I had to dirty up two paint brushes. Hey, I don't know about you, but I want my clean up easy. So, the least amount of tools, just like in the kitchen, even though you just use what you need. Um, less to clean. And there's no dishwasher for all of these things. I have a dishwasher, but we wash our dishes by hand because we just do. So these are all the usual suspects. And we're going to start off. And then what I was saying in my other video, I just ran it through all straight, um, straight up um, fast forward mode. But in any event, as I was saying in my last video, which... You just heard me talk like a cute little chipmunk. 
so you didn't really know what I was saying. I just took one of my old bottle um, pill bottles, and this is just an old ibuprofen bottle. That's all I take for cramps, whatever. TMI, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, like when I swatched the Diatromus document ink in the black, it stained the living daylights in me. There's a, still a little bit of it. So what I did was, this is soapy water. So I find, as soon as I'm done doing the pipette action to get that kind of swatch, I just put it in here and fill it up by squeezing and then releasing. And then it gets the stain out, pretty much. But, you know, so I'm not going to mix colors. Again, I'm doing that now with all of these instruments so it just works better I find just a wee bit of target soap and that's all she wrote so first things first I have my Enigma and I'm rather liking this it's still and yet does in fact have bleed through even though it is 60 GSM see that's okay. You know, it is what it is. And I'm not looking for perfection. So, and I love the crinkly paper that comes with that. It's like when you watercolor, the paper gets all crinkly. I'm okay with that. Now, these are pricey, and the shipping is hardcore as far as I'm concerned. Um, I think, I can't believe they come from Taiwan. Um, but... I wanted the 60 GSM. I'm sure, I know there's other notebooks that have that, but I wanted to try this for myself. And so there you have it. So I'm going to see how this turns out, but I do like having samples on the Tomoe River paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you to music. And fast forward this all this whole section and then I'll come back and ramble some more. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys on the flip side.
again is the extra fine nib. I think it is slightly scratchy. Um, and of course I base that on the fact that I usually use a stub or a broad or at least a medium, but it's only very, very minimal with certain letter formations. So overall, I think this pen is going to come in handy to get into very small spaces. So I think that will be just fine. And this color is beautiful. It's very, very similar to the Rock and Rio, but it's a deeper um, burgundy, more burgundy and red than orange. So I like it. I'm glad to have it in my collection. So inked up Enigma. <laughs> I currently inked Enigma. Let's see. Did anything go through the paper? Just ghosting. Just some ghosting, as you can see there. So, comparing those two, very, very similar. The color's very similar. Different, but similar. And I like them. So, there's that one. And then... That's the Tomoe River paper. This is the Witch Term 1917. Just goes, well, there is some bleed through there where I scratched that out, but it looks good. Very nice. And then, in this Enigma, here is my nice little big actually. It's a good size swatch. There you have it. Dragon blood. Compare the two side by side. So you can see that's definitely more orange. There is some gold sheening, um, gold shimmer. It's gorgeous. Really pretty. I love this ink. This is the ink that I've used the most over the years. So I'm glad. Very glad again that I got it. Glad, glad to have it in my collection. I'm gonna set leave that out to dry. Here's the lid. And then here is the ink or the color ring ink testing book. Swab swatch. Very beautiful. Extreme close up. <laughs> Very pretty. Right? If you don't have this in your collection, I would go for this. Look at that. It's so shiny and shiny. So much fun. Look at that. You can see the, the gold coming through there to make it look the red with the um, orange. Looks gold and orangey. It's so nice. So I'll let this sit out a little longer um, before I put it in my book. But I'm happy that I did get this pen in the extra fine. Just a wee bit of scratchiness. But, and I tried cursive as well as, oh my gosh. Okay, so... Okay. There is a close-up. It's pretty. And I passed this up for a really, really long, long time, this pen. So I'm glad I have it. It's very pretty. It reminds me of apples. Even though it's, it says blossom red. I mean, that, I think of apples and I think of fall. So I'm glad I have this inked up now and this inked up. Now, as you can see from the shaft here, I only put a little bit in that each one. Because I have a, several fountain pens inked up and these will last so long. Because I can't use these colors at work, you know. And I do use my fountain pens in my journal, so which I don't show. I have a five-year Hobonichi journal. So I do journal in that daily. But still, and yeah, it takes a long time to 
use up these inks. So by that time I'm ready to swap out for winter, winter colors or whatever, you know, um, that's enough for me with the amount of pens that I have inked up. So, all right, guys, that my friends is everything. And if you liked what you saw, feel free to subscribe, comment, like, and share. I hope you do. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Peace out.